All right, so here we have the tiniest little Chaco Golden Knee, and we're gonna go ahead and give it slightly larger housing because it hasn't molted in a while, and usually they don't molt because of a series of things. Sometimes it's nutrients, but sometimes their house is just too small. So we're gonna give it something that's a little wider in hopes that it will help. And for this guy, I'm not gonna take his webbing out just because of the fact that he made it, he'll recognize it's his, and we just wanna make sure that they are pretty comfortable. And he's small enough that we can still use this, though I am gonna dig some of it out so that way he can kind of hide. I always love to add a little greenery, personally. Just a personal preference, not a lot, just enough. It's so cute, but this is what he started off with. This was his little hide, that's how tiny he was. So I just kind of keep it in there as a memory. So we have temperature gauges and it tells you the humidity and the temperature. And the reason we do that is it gives me an idea of what's going on inside of the cage. If I need to increase the temperature, increase the humidity, that's what, what it's gonna do. But like I said, my humidity is pretty low in the house, which is why we try to put so much moisture inside of these tanks. But the house itself is at a pretty decent temperature for them and when they get moved back into the room that they're normally in, they're usually pretty good to go. Because he's so tiny, I just use a water cap bottle. And I like to overflow it a little because if you overflow it just a smidge, it just helps with the moisture. And their mouth is small enough that all that dirt that you see is not gonna be a big problem for them, but at least you'll figure out where it is. So if they don't drink water, which sometimes they don't. It really depends on where they are. Um, but if they're just too stressed out or whatever the case may be, they can actually get their nutrients from the crickets that you feed them as long as you're on the proper schedule. So now, I can reach in there. Yep, he got my little way. Come on. It's very pretty. The snake's gonna come out. Sometimes they get scared. When they hide up like that, they're scared. So I'm actually going to adjust and just reach from behind and do them out just like that when they're this tiny you want to try to less hold them as possible because of the fact that the oils on your skin can really affect them and you don't want them to be affected our Chaco golden knee is in its new little house and i'm gonna go ahead and switch the labels and the reason i do labels is because of the fact that i sometimes have other people feed them so if i want someone to say hey i need you to feed my Chaco golden knee they know what I'm talking about. It doesn't happen often, but on the off chance it does, I'd rather be extra. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.